Diabetes Alert 10 Unusual Skin Signs You Shouldn't Ignore Diabetes is a multifaceted condition characterized by the body's inability to effectively regulate blood sugar levels, primarily due to insulin resistance within our cells. It's important to emphasize that even if you begin with a clean bill of health, years of making poor dietary choices, such as excessive consumption of sugary foods, beverages, and refined grains, along with frequent snacking and overindulging, can gradually pave the way for the development of diabetes. Additionally, heightened stress levels can trigger the release of cortisol, a hormone that elevates blood sugar levels. Moreover, the consumption of inflammatory vegetable oils and an insufficient intake of essential nutrients and antioxidants can contribute to the progression of diabetes over time. Recognizing the various signals your body may display when something is awry is of paramount importance. The good news is that it is indeed possible to reverse insulin resistance and halt the progression of prediabetes or diabetes. If you suspect that you may be at risk for diabetes or prediabetes, I strongly encourage you to watch this entire video. We will also delve into natural remedies and dietary recommendations aimed at reducing insulin resistance and potentially reversing diabetes. Of course, it is crucial to consult with your healthcare provider if you have any medical concerns. Distinguishing the initial sign we turn our attention to the first indicator, the appearance of darkened patches on the skin. These patches manifest predominantly in the folds and creases of your body, such as the armpits, the back of the neck, or the groin. The root cause lies in the excessive presence of sugar and insulin within your bloodstream, setting off an accelerated proliferation of skin cells. These newly formed cells contain a heightened concentration of melanin pigment, resulting in a visibly darker complexion compared to the surrounding skin. Furthermore, the texture of these patches can take on a velvety dryness, and some individuals may also experience the emergence of numerous small growths or skin tags within these areas. This brings us to our second indication, the presence of skin tags. While a few skin tags are commonplace, a significant increase in their occurrence could signify an underlying issue of prediabetes or elevated blood sugar levels. Elevated insulin levels in your bloodstream can compromise your immune system, potentially reactivating the human papillomavirus, HPV, leading to the formation of new skin tags, and at times, warts. Notably, those who successfully manage insulin resistance often witness a natural regression and disappearance of these skin tags. The third symptom to be aware of is the sensation of tingling in your feet. While not visually discernible, you might experience sensations such as deep tingling, burning, itching, irritation, stabbing, or even electric-like pain in your feet or toes. This discomfort arises from the damage inflicted on the nerves in your feet due to persistently high blood sugar levels or the presence of diabetes, which erodes the protective outer layer of these nerves, causing them to short circuit, akin to a malfunctioning electrical wire. To mitigate this nerve damage, incorporating a daily supplement like benfoshamine can prove beneficial. However, I'll delve deeper into diabetes management strategies later in this presentation. Now, let's explore our fourth indicator, fungal toenail infections. Those with elevated blood sugar or prediabetic conditions are prone to fungal infections in their toenails. This results in thickened, discolored, and yellowed toenails, often accompanied by recurrent athlete's foot infections characterized by cracking and intense itching of the skin around the toes and soles of the feet. It's crucial to understand that fungi thrive on sugar, and the higher your blood sugar levels, the more favorable the environment becomes for fungal growth on your feet. Moreover, 
Diabetes and prediabetes weaken your immune defenses, making your skin more susceptible to fungal infections, which can also extend to conditions like jock itch, yeast infections, and ringworm. Moving on to our fifth skin-related sign, we need to pay attention to the development of bed sores or ulcers. Individuals who consume an excessive amount of processed carbohydrates or struggle with insulin resistance or diabetes may experience the formation of open wounds on their skin that do not heal promptly. This delayed healing is primarily attributed to the detrimental impact of elevated insulin levels on the blood vessels beneath these ulcers. Remarkably, approximately 15 to 25% of diabetes patients will contend with diabetic foot ulcers during their lifetime. Our sixth indicator relates to the presence of hardened skin on the fingers. A noticeable thickening and a waxy appearance can manifest on the knuckles, fingers, and hands, particularly in cases of insulin resistance. When diabetes remains inadequately managed through dietary adjustments, it can lead to increased stiffness in the hands and the sensation of having pebbles in your fingertips. Now, let's delve into the seventh sign, characterized by the fingers being drawn forward. Alongside the preceding symptom of hardened skin mentioned as the sixth sign, individuals with diabetes often experience a stiffening of their fingers attributed to thickening of the fascia beneath. Some may notice the emergence of small lumps or nodules beneath the skin on the palm of their hands, which can initially be uncomfortable but tend to subside over time. This phenomenon is primarily associated with elevated insulin levels and insulin resistance, both contributing to the abnormal thickening and growth of fascia in the hands. Moving on to the eighth sign we have shin spots. Elevated blood sugar levels in diabetes can weaken the blood vessels in the legs, leading to the leakage of blood byproducts into the skin. This can result in the development of dark, brown, reddish, round spots, often found on the lower legs, particularly around the shins. While these spots typically disappear within 18 months, they are a common occurrence in diabetic patients due to the damage caused by high insulin or glucose levels to the blood vessels beneath the skin. The ninth sign to be vigilant about is the appearance of skin bumps. Individuals with diabetes or those at risk of developing it often exhibit elevated levels of cholesterol in their bloodstream, which the liver struggles to metabolize. This can give rise to the formation of small, hard, raised spots beneath the skin, resembling clusters and measuring between 1 to 4 millimeters in size. It's essential to note that these bumps can also be indicative of thyroid issues, liver disease, or kidney disease. If you notice any of these skin abnormalities, please consult your physician for a thorough evaluation. Lastly, we come to the tenth sign, puffy eyelids. High blood glucose, or glucose in the bloodstream, has an affinity for water. Consequently, individuals with elevated blood sugar levels and diabetes may experience puffiness beneath their eyes. While puffy eyelids alone may not necessarily signify prediabetes, if they accompany some of the previously discussed symptoms, it could indicate an underlying blood sugar issue that might progress into diabetes if left unaddressed. If you identify with one or more of these symptoms, it is strongly recommended that you seek medical attention and request a HOMA IR test from your healthcare provider. This simple blood test assesses your fasting blood glucose and insulin levels, providing valuable insights into whether you have insulin resistance prediabetes, or diabetes. Additionally, consider getting your A1C levels measured to gauge your average blood sugar levels over an extended period. If you find that you have a condition that needs addressing, exploring ways to reverse it becomes essential. As previously discussed, diabetes primarily stems from insulin resistance, 
a condition where your cells are insufficiently responsive to sugar in your bloodstream. To reverse diabetes or insulin resistance, the key lies in optimizing cellular function to efficiently absorb excess sugar from your blood, ultimately regulating your blood sugar levels. You can promote this process by integrating the following six recommendations into your daily routine to enhance your overall well-being. 1. Allow cells and insulin receptors to recover, to reduce insulin resistance and maintain stable blood sugar levels. Contemplate reducing your consumption of high glycemic foods that swiftly convert to sugar in your bloodstream. Say goodbye to sugary snacks, starchy foods, and refined flour-based products like cookies, chips, candies, bread, pancakes, pasta, ketchup, soda, and other processed carbohydrates. Lowering your carbohydrate intake will boost insulin sensitivity giving your cells the chance to restore blood sugar balance. 2. Embrace healthy fats. Swap out refined carbs for healthier fats sourced from avocados, pasture-raised eggs, grass-fed butter, raw coconut oil, and extra virgin olive oil. These fats, when combined with proteins, can sustain your energy levels, curb your appetite, and contribute to reversing insulin resistance. 3. Incorporate anti-diabetic herbs and spices. Consider adding anti-diabetic herbs and spices to your diet to combat insulin resistance. Options like berberine, cinnamon, green tea, bitter melon, turmeric, black seed oil, fish oil, and apple cider vinegar are excellent choices. These substances can help regulate blood sugar levels and enhance insulin sensitivity. 4. Prioritize organic cruciferous vegetables. Establish a daily routine of consuming organic cruciferous vegetables such as collard greens, Swiss chard, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, and cauliflower. These vegetables are packed with potassium and magnesium, essential minerals that boost cell responsiveness to insulin. Additionally, their soluble fiber and phytonutrients can directly stabilize blood sugar levels. 5. Practice intermittent fasting. Break free from the habit of constant snacking throughout the day, a significant contributor to insulin resistance. Instead, consider adopting intermittent fasting by consuming all your daily calories within a 6-hour window, allowing your body 18 hours to rest and digest. Fasting is a potent technique that can open up your cells, reverse insulin resistance, and enhance digestion. 6. Prioritize quality sleep. Getting adequate and restorative sleep is pivotal in managing insulin resistance. Diabetics often struggle to achieve deep, uninterrupted sleep, which can lead to elevated cortisol levels and increased blood sugar levels. To enhance insulin sensitivity, strive to extend your nightly sleep duration by 1 to 2 hours, or incorporate daytime naps whenever feasible. Improved sleep quality will aid in regulating hormones, reducing stress, and stabilizing blood sugar levels. In conjunction with these lifestyle modifications, you may also contemplate integrating specific vitamins, minerals, and supplements into your regimen to further address insulin resistance and diabetes while maintaining a well-rounded diet. Keep in mind that individual responses may vary, so it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional before making substantial dietary or lifestyle changes to effectively manage your condition. To learn more about this topic, please like the video and subscribe to my Healthy Care channel. I want to express my gratitude once again for your viewership and support in watching this video today. I send my best wishes for you to always be safe, prosperous, and happy.